the things that make for poverty i obtain grace to make quality decisions that close these doors from my life close these doors from my church close these doors from my business i am ready to be empowered the problem is not the recession the problem is not the 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 the, the, the economy of the nations hallelujah number two i'd like you to pray that the spirit of poverty that spirit that has taken advantage of ignorance or incomplete knowledge and is praying over your finances praying over your family's finances i like you to decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant it stops from this night is someone praying open your mouth and pray do not allow yourself continue in lack and want it is not the will of god and it is totally unnecessary totally unnecessary not with the abundance of knowledge that you have access to someone pray i rebuke the spirit of poverty whether it has been generational in the name of jesus we decree and declare you will not find a place in my life are you praying you will not find a place in my children pray you will not find a place in my spouse not in my company not in the ministry god has given someone is praying in the name of jesus christ all the decisions that are pro poverty i come against you and the spirit that influences my attitude the spirit that influences my decisions praying upon my ignorance the lord rebuke you in the name of jesus hallelujah the final prayer point and then it will be my turn to pray for you i'd like you to pray there is the power to get wealth yes there is there truly is the power to get wealth please do not take serious anybody who tells you there is no anointing that prospers people there is the power to get wealth. Let God be true and all men liars. You are going to pray. Father, I've been imparted, I've been anointed before, but the power to get wealth, let it rest upon my life now. Open your mouth and pray. The power to get wealth. God is able to empower men. He's able to provide a supernatural engracing upon your spirit and your mind that causes you to be extraordinary in producing results results that make you extremely valuable results that attract resources to you results that connects you to the heart of men and help us someone pray someone pray you are about to receive in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let me speak over your life now father in the name of jesus i decree and declare you gave me this instruction to bring this prophetic word as a deliverance in the name of jesus i decree and declare that mantle and that grace that makes for wealth that took ordinary people in scripture and even ordinary people in our day to day and has exalted them bringing beauty for ashes and joy for mourning i decree and declare may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your household rest upon your career in the name of jesus christ by reason of this grace i speak prophetically over you that everything that represents the shame and the reproach connected to poverty i declare that it dies over your life now every family here that has never experienced genuine prosperity is always from poverty to poverty you saw those before you you saw your parents some of you right now and you're about transferring the same to your children in the name of jesus may this anointing intercept that progression intercept that progression in the name of jesus christ 
The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. It was not always so. Every failed business here, every dead or dying business, I decree and declare, may help us show up and lift you back. May help us show up and lift you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to pray for you. If you are in any kind of financial situation of debt, whether personally, as a family, or corporately, in the name of Jesus, please believe this prophecy. Between now and December, I prophesy upon you, come out of that debt. Come out of that financial situation. Come out of that financial situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. How will it happen apostle very simple the ministry of men it, there is no magic as to how people come out of debt it is always the ministry of men God will send men disguised as systems disguised as relationships it is yours to now discern and be ready when it comes you don't come out of debt by superstition when prophecy is released as it was over Samaria the next thing was men even if they are lepers, they will be the ones to use to rescue Samaria. Every time prophecy comes, start paying attention to men. They will come with business ideas. They will come with superior projects. They will come with their well wishes just to bail you out. A show of kindness. Or they will come, somebody can just bless you. Oh, apostle, I'm owing 30 million. And God gives someone an instruction. I will not give you money, but I give you one of my properties as a gift. You value that property and they say it's 80 million. You are out of debt already. It's up to you now. Let me tell you one of the major ways that God brings people out of debt is through the power of land and its resources. Because it is very difficult for somebody to come and give you 1 million but he can give you a slice of the earth. And the Bible says, out of the earth comes increase. He says the increase of the earth is for all. He never said the increase of a company. So if everywhere runs to you, go to the earth for your portion. The earth has a portion for all men. This is a strategy. I'm not, I'm not foolish as you hear me talk to you. The earth is a universal bailout system that God uses to bring men out of financial troubles. The increase of the earth is for all, it says. That means if they reject you, if you are in debt, there's no guarantee that the increase in the bank, you have a share there. But this earth is a universal standpoint. The moment you are in debt, trust God to use the power of the earth and its fullness as a mystery to bail you out. Hmm. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let the power to prosper, the engracing that can rest on men and women and program them for extraordinary success. I declare by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic mantle, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Be delivered from every financial captivity. Hear me, what your father could not do, what your mother could not do. For some of you, what has never been done before you, I empower you by this anointing. Go and do it. Extraordinary results in business. Extraordinary results in ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, many of you will come and stand here and begin to testify of strange financial doors. In the name of Jesus Christ and by this anointing everybody mandated to help you especially in this month in this month of April leave May, leave June we're talking April I don't know where they are but I can call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ the one who gave power to men I declare this week that is coming I stand by this mantle I call for strange helpers strange helpers strange lifters in the name of Jesus Christ that by reason of this that you have heard some of you by God you will step into prepared blessings 
you will be sitting down someone will call you and give you a car call you and give you a house i'm telling you call you and give you a job he has trained you so his hands will not be restrained in blessing you there are some of you who are in ministry god will give people instructions and say they should come and hold your hands and see to it that you never go down again every family struggling financially whether to pay school fees to pay rent to complete building projects or maybe to fund projects that are ongoing in the name of jesus this week may ebenezer the helper of men may he arise and surprise you for in jesus mighty name we pray now i'm praying because there are individuals some of you are ministers, some of you, your prayer life has gone down. This is koinonia. I stretch my hands by the spirit of grace. As many inside the balcony, the overflows, following from whatever nation, as many as the spirit of God will initiate into this dimension of spiritual reality. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are ministers, some of you are being raised to be prophets and apostles let that engracing for prayer rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ help them please in the name of Jesus Christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of Jesus and by the spirit of the Christ I clear it out of your life I clear it out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of jesus we command that door open now 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 take it back be open now in the name of jesus open up gita and gita be open now Tonight is a very serious night. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor would be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatuzia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Subata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face that you will not be seen is 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 affecting your visibility in ministry there are people in ministry here you have integrity you are working in grace but there is a veil over your face there are businessmen there are captains of industry right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ 
I declare for such people in this auditorium and are outside, please bring them. Right now, may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those fails right now. Burn those fails right now. Turn it into a prayer. Every fail covering the glory of God upon my life. It says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory. He called him the lifter up of my head. Bring them out. Everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long. You are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now. You came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. We're still praying. Hear me. Except God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirits, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. The Lava Carto Shaleka Pando Sodom Broto to see her take it up. Credegate Baracatos, Codoba Shalenda Pracatusia, Shaparacata, Bereto Sudo Bacatusia, Cata. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit, let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night. Parike Teketea, bring them out. The force that will not let you go. This is Koinonia. The force that will not let you go. I stand by the God of heaven, the God of Shashuron, that rides upon the wings of the wind. I declare must let you go now. The Bible says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces familiar spirits that stand to shut doors i'm praying for business people i stand by the unction of jesus and i declare anyone here in business whatever power has refused to let you advance in the name of jesus at the count of three comes under fire one two three go 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 release your destiny release your businesses in the name of jesus christ it says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves the last prayer point and we'll sit down every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go hear me i don't care what it is called blood disease 
phenotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now. All kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be healed, be healed. Blood condition, be healed. Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmity. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven I declare my God will uproot them my God will uproot them my God will uproot them for all of you in front here I decree and declare standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life i speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of god let them go now by the power of the holy ghost can i tell you this hear me I made a vow and a covenant with God. I said, Lord, whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family, I obtain grace, even if it's for me to be the sacrifice, that I will fight it with my life, taking advantage of the victory that is in Christ, so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty. Someone may need to make that commitment and say, Lord, my sincere parents, my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge. But will you use me as that priest? Let me be that mediator between the old and the new. Someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till death so clear. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus take your place. Hear me i have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously hiv just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that i know people who are healthy 
and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body i am a spirit that submits to the authority of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i have dominion in the name of jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barataka tepalaka tosho brondos ekreteke barato soto brenda gete belegadia shakata braska tepalakata embrakata baraka tosho tegete pray something is happening pray something is happening tepateka baraka tosh kedea Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place. On earth. As God's steward. And I declare. Holy Spirit. I am in partnership with you. Every good thing. That must manifest from heaven to my life i declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray i take my place i take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by god to find expression in my life in this season i declare i take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada bagade bakata brande gade balatosia. Ebrakatosh kodo brande gade balekata. Shabrande gade baruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus Every system of authorization Working against my life My family My destiny By the blood of the eternal covenant Be silenced now Open your mouth and pray Be silenced Be silenced Be silenced Shekete pakata balakatosh be silenced in the name of Jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence fighting your destiny hallelujah hallelujah now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life i command depart now open your mouth and pray Depart fibroids, depart high blood pressure, depart cancer, depart someone pray tumors, 
crowds depart. Elakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions depart. Shagada Bagata Bagados Kate. Embrete Gabaruso Segate Balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done. Every premature separation either by accident, by sickness, by the activity of wicked people, I cause it right now. Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare, through the ministry of man, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Abagata Barakos, Abrakatos Kateva Lakatesh.
Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth, is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you? The elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God. And can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me. Or pronunciations that go through the wind. Or water. Provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun? shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired genesis 1 from verse 20 i want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and god said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life, for my assignment, 
through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly someone pray someone pray Let the waters bring forth abundantly. Shabra gade balaga de prosko do balando shali atas. Egre fene kete parato shada braga dala katosa prayers. Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment i can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and i can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa. You expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed. Even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children. And they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment, whether by covenant, whether by ignorance, all by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at will. No. They consult with the constellations. 
and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength, you will be a victim of several casualties. It is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful. Their advantage is not in their physical armory, I tell you this. Their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit. And it is good for us to pray, but for God's sake, prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date. And even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, it says there is power. It said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. If you refuse to plant in a farm, something will still grow. The name is weed. In elementary science or agriculture, they define wheat as weed as unwanted. Are we together? Unwanted plants. While men slept. Hear me. We are going to make decrees. Every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation, in this city and around, Please don't say it does not concern you. Don't make the mistake of Esther. When her man was plotting evil, Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning. He said, do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us, you will be spared. For you do not know whether it is for such a time as this. Everyone who has been kidnapped, even those killed, they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you. Don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving. You too move out in the morning and in the night. So don't say it does not matter. Shout this from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my place as one who has authority. And I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed, the spirit of terrorism. The spirit of oppression around our land. The spiritual power that supports you. We break it right now. Go ahead and pray. The covenants that support you be broken. The altars that support you be broken. The enchantments that support you be broken. The priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north, we prophesy to the south, we prophesy to the east, we prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you. Listen. Listen. You have to reject bad news between now and December. You, you, your, your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time. It is within your power 
Yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees. Are we together? You are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare. The Bible says the name of the Lord is not only a weapon of victory, it is a strong tower. The righteous can enter and they are saved. Begin to mention the name of your loved ones, your spouse, your children, your parents. Lord, we declare covering, prophetic covering. They are exempted from the arrows that fly by day. Exempted from the noisome pestilence. The destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand shall fall by your side. Ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. With your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked. hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and had the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open. Doors of restoration be open and remain open. Doors of opportunity be open and remain open. Doors of speed be open and remain open. Hear me. I release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them I say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of David has opened Makesh Kalibaratasiata. May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand. In the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. Mercy is a weapon.
and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me joshua the high priest standing before the lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god i present to you the blood of the eternal covenant i present to you the advocacy of jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary Lift your voice invoke mercy invoke mercy repeat every voice the voice of mercy the voice of wisdom the voice of failure the voice of failure Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me, but see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed, but the blood will speak. Hear me? You live the wayward life, and all kinds of things happen, and the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you are involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now invoke mercy invoke the blood invoke the blood Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. Pick Ipalatia, 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 
Was he praying? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effects must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You live my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, you pray. find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in christ what of the blood he showed me joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what i did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God in you pray alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you S -S, that made you A -S, that gave you hepatitis it must go tonight the spirit of the spirit of the 
Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priest, priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. He says, and if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them, please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of jesus christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that fail. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. 
be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Cain said, my punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark, Seketo Shalakras Kadabadiasha, Lebren Tekeskota Bras Kadalia, any mark upon your life, upon your business, upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes, keeps attracting scandals, keeps attracting negativism. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that might be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body, through your blood, that came from ancestry, genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but I want to prophesy right now I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 i announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I provoke restoration right now. I pray over your life. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I want to speak speed in your life. I don't know what tied you down. By now, according to the program of God for you, you should have entered certain levels. You should have been the mother of four children now, but you are yet to have one. Therefore, I command speed. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus. 
I command speed, speed of accomplishment, speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The last prayer point I want to pray for you. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing. The yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota Lekre Tosketerika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of Jesus may your presence your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus what has mocked God in your life but in the name of Jesus it ends now it ends now it ends now it ends now of them I just sense that there is a shift in the atmosphere the anointing that is shifting in the atmosphere is an anointing that is bringing stability back there are people's lives that are it's, it's like a reed before the wind please hear me listen very carefully we're about to pray please be sensitive now spiritual illumination backed up by a life of intense prayer and fellowship with the secret is the key to ever increasing grace the abundance of grace 
please bring the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing as i mentioned abundance of grace i just saw the word prophet and i saw light on someone a gentleman i don't know who that person is please when you find him bring him we're going to pray just a few minutes I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me yeah. I, 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 Here's the part of the song I like. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. Oh, 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 Ali, Ali, yo, oh. Ali, yo, oh, 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 oh. Ali, Ali, yo. Oh. Man of God, go and find out what is the key to church growth. Don't argue it. Results are exact in the spirit. Go and find out what has God placed upon his servant. The secrets of men are contained in their words. You know God by knowing his word. So you know men by studying their words. Their speakings are a revelation of their mindsets, their understanding. You may not have the liberty for close proximity, but you can draw close to their minds using the vista of their words. Settle down. Find the area in your life that is not working and invest in light back it up with prayer the bible says in acts chapter 2 and verse 42 it says and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and now we we'll pray and i wrap up the bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon how many that means all of us can carry great grace great power comes with great grace great grace comes with great knowledge great grace was upon them all listen the quality of your witness in this end time depends on the level of unction and enabling grace that you carry which is a product of the time you have invested in the study of the word high level spiritual illumination intense moments of prayer and fellowship with the spirit nothing else will replace these keys whether you want to be an extraordinary ceo an exceptional man of god you want to become an exceptional father mother leader the formula is the same you cannot ignore the word of god ignore the ministry of prayer and fellowship with the spirit one communication of the spirit in the place of fellowship can equal the next 20 years of relevance in your life listen we have gotten to times in the church age where depending on the intellect alone or over dependence i would say on the intellect will prove to be costly in the days that come because let me tell you the truth there are trajectories we are about to tour that no man can claim to have had the experience not within this dispensation you would have to be three four hundred years old to tell us i've seen this before everybody who saw that cyclical move has gone so we are infants relative to the moves coming you need to depend on the ancient of days there is a fountain of wisdom you must tap in the place of fellowship only god will tell you what the next 10 years of ministry will be reverend sam spoke about my teaching so graciously and i'm so grateful for that but let me tell you as at the time god instructed me to start putting teachings online internet was just in its infancy within the african soil and the lord spoke to me 
we if i think facebook just started or so and he told me he said put these teachings quality of production very poor was not i mean sometimes you would have to stretch to listen to some of the audios and he said put it online and my angel will take it to the ends of the earth have you had god for 2023 20, till 2033 has he spoken to you don't assume it to be business as usual COVID has taught us the, the, the excellency of staying with the spirit to navigate the ever-changing world that we live in. Billionaires fell to nothing within one year because of over-dependence on the flesh. Proverbs 3, 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, it says, and lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I love verse 7. It says, be not wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You can be wise in your eyes. Hallelujah. With great power, give the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace. You are lifted by grace when you are lifted through knowledge you are lifted by grace when you are lifted through high level illumination listen there is no amount of darkness you will confront in this life that does not have a light component to drive it away john 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not is someone ready to pray I plead for a few minutes, just a few minutes, so that we can just cap this and, and, and take some moments to pray. Don't allow this year, not after this Gilgal experience, don't allow this year. Listen, let me tell you, regardless the prophetic word, every year remains like the previous year until you engage. Until you engage. Remember this word, exceeding precious promises, commitments, bound by conditions, bound to conditions. Cain and Abel went to offer sacrifices. One walked in keeping with the patterns. Abel, his sacrifice was accepted. Cain compromised on the pattern and his sacrifice was not accepted. He was angry and God said, why are you wrought? If you had done it, will you not be accepted? The same Lord is rich unto all. What has God done to the sister you said in your church here or another person and it looks like he's not done it to you? For others, it's a matter of time, like your pastor has said. Haven't done all to stand, you just stand and wait with patience until it comes. But for others, you are waiting in vain because you have not even done anything. Waiting for a harvest over a seed you have not sown is fraud. So you need to ask yourself, have I sown? Don't just say I'm expecting a harvest. The danger is that it's time that will reveal both, whether you have sown well or not. I made up my mind as a commitment. I started this from my time of retreat. I made up my mind that I would be, I would press and stretch myself, not from a competitive standpoint, but that there are heights, virgin dimensions in the spirit we must press and we must touch. As I study God's generals and these people, my goodness, this is child's play relative to the levels of the grace that these people touched. Dimensions that makes you a blessing to nations. I vowed a vow in the name of Jesus that I would never stand on any man's pulpit and preach rubbish and waste their time and they just clap and say, show him the way. No, no, no. There are souls to be saved. There are lives to be transformed. For some people, that is the last sermon. That sermon represents the last, the last string of mercy they have for their deliverance. My life must change. My life must change Cause I've touched your grace I've touched your grace My life must change My life must change I've touched your grace I've touched your grace 
to thank God for this teaching tonight everywhere while you are standing I saw several people outside the overflows and those who are following from across the globe now is the point where you press come on this is a church of prayer this is a place of prayer is someone praying just a minute or two to press. Mark 11, 24. What thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, when ye pray, when ye pray, man of God, pray, businessman, pray, captain of industry, pray, mother, father, pray. It's a new season. There is an abundance of grace that God is bringing to the body of Christ. But the grace follows after abundance of knowledge, high level spiritual illumination. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Now you're going to cry. Listen carefully. It says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion is the word koinonia. The fellowship, the sharing together. You see, it's important for you to pray. Obtain grace to stay with the word until light comes. Isaiah 61 and 2 amplified says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Shine for your light is come. You don't arise and shine because you are tired of sitting. You arise and shine because your light is come. Not because your light is around. It's been around since 2015 for someone. But it has not come to you. May this be the year that it comes. Are you ready to pray? I obtain grace. Someone pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Grace to contend for superior light. The Bible says that he made many lights. But there were two great lights. One to rule the day and the other to rule the night. And then he made the stars also. Go ahead and pray. The light that empowers me to rule the day. The light that empowers me to rule the night. I obtain, I obtain. By diligent study. I, Daniel, understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books. Someone pray. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. I obtain grace to be disciplined towards my press for light. Definite light. Marvelous light. Light that illuminates every darkness in my life. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. Someone is praying. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. But we will give ourselves continually. Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. 
We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The nations are calling for the mantle God has put upon your life. Man of God, the nations are calling for the grace he has put upon you. Oh Esther, oh Ruth, oh Deborah, oh Elijah, the nations are calling. Hallelujah. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark in my life. You are brooding over one time upon your life you are fooling over every time you are causing light to shine from God now spare me a minute I want you to pray every grace you have seen at work in the life of your man of God I stand in faith with you I want you to place a demand upon it right now by reason of being grafted to this spiritual tribe him and his wife the grace the years of sacrifice in the spirit I'm releasing my faith with you pray what have you seen work in his life what have you seen God do in this church is someone praying don't let pride keep you in that position what have you seen God do in his life Father, you have lifted him. Let that grace come upon me. Are you praying? That the Lord who took him from the city of Azaray in Bauchi and lifted him to become a voice across the nations. Lord, you can lift me right where I am. From where thou art, he says, lift up your eyes. Someone is placing a demand. you who are connected to his prayer platform there is a chance to pray all across the globe placing a demand upon the grace that God has put on his life father I obtain the grace for vibrancy in prayer I obtain the grace to understand the capacity to understand scripture grace for fellowship with the Holy Ghost In the name of Jesus, 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 there is the abundance of grace that a man can have. I stretch my hands now. Something is going to fall right now, just in one minute. I come as one sent in the name of the Lord. I want you to receive this with all your heart. You will be surprised what will happen to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have sent me here not only to preach, but to impart. I stretch my hands right now. Let that fire, that grace. Oh, speak from your heavens and the earth will sing. Oh, speak from the heavens, now hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens, and the earth will hear. My altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you. Let the grace for visibility, the grace that can cause a territory, that hear ye him anointing, 
in the name of Jesus, I impart that grace upon you now. Receive that pakatos ketepata. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Visibility in ministry. Visibility in your family. From where you are, rise and let the nation see Jesus from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every delay in your life, whatever has tied you in the same position, there are two systems of advantage that are given by God to men to redeem time. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. I call upon these twofold graces. May they rest upon your life now. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Hallelujah. Your pastor is a blessed man. God has shown him mercy. I want to stand in faith with him and speak. Can I tell you the truth? Believe me when I tell you, if you are not empowered economically, you will never be able to be an effective witness. The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it up. If you will lift it with integrity. Did you hear what I said? The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it high enough for the nations to see. God who has helped this precious man and his wife. I'm standing in faith. Listen, if you believe in this prayer I'm praying for you. Many of you have been in this city, a land of plenty, but the two lip gates has been closed over your hands. I pray for you by the grace that helps men even financially. Between now and the next three months, I stand by the grace and the oil of this call. I declare, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. Access to favor, uncommon kindness, uncommon access, uncommon acceptance. Hallelujah. Many of you hear me. You are in this church, but you are not genuinely connected to the anointing. Genuinely connected. Jesus said, all that you have given me, I have kept. We only keep what we are given. That stays as though. It says, except the son of perdition. He had to explain why Judas. Let me tell you, spiritual fatherhood is a responsibility. You account for those God gave you. And there are many of you that are sincerely, genuinely not connected. You connect through honor. You connect through giving. You connect through your prayer. You connect by supporting what it is, the dimension of God committed to the man that God has given you. Are we together? I don't know what has mocked God in your life, but in the name of Jesus, it ends now. It ends now. It ends now. It ends now. Therefore, by the privilege of God's grace, standing on all the graces that have ministered here and the graces that will be coming and then the grace upon this precious man and his wife in the name of Jesus Christ I move you move to the next level move to the next level spiritually move to the next level spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ you are here and you are saying apostle I've heard everything you have said but I confess before Jesus and before his people, I cannot say for sure I have accessed even the saving grace. You cannot get the enabling grace until you have received the saving grace. The administration of the enabling grace is for those who are in Christ. Remember, in our teaching of grace, we said it is all spiritual blessings that are routed through the office of Christ. Now listen very carefully. Before Jesus returns, there will be a harvest. Mighty evangelical voices across the globe have been prophesying this. I have seen it many times in my visions, even in recent times, that there is a prophetic harvest, a harvest like never before. 
because this gospel of the kingdom must be preached as a witness to the ends of the earth and then the end will come so there is an abundant supply of grace and of the spirit enabling us many who have taken God seriously to be able to frontier the course of the kingdom across the nations please hear me there are people here who are saying apostle reverend Sam I cannot truly say that I am saved and for others you are saying well I remember making this decision but truly I cannot say as at now that my relationship with Jesus is intact you may be inside you may be outside the overflow or you may be across the globe I understand there are people watching from across the continents of the earth wherever you are watching by television perhaps even by a rebroadcast Jesus Christ is speaking to you right now this is my last function here I'm going to call on all of those who are making this decision right where you are if I plead that you just clear the way please for them I'm going to count one to five and I want you with boldness to come and stand before Jesus here please just stand make sure they don't interrupt the man of God whether you are rededicating your life to Jesus or making this I'm just looking for one sincere person who is saying there is no pretense I came to church you are inside those coming from outside if it's for salvation please let them come I'm counting one to five now run to Jesus run to Jesus there's nothing to be ashamed of run to Jesus please don't kneel stand for the sake of space so that others can come God's people is this the best you can do as you celebrate them he has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son come come Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me? Where would I come? Come, sir. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this bold decision. And those who are connecting again by way of television, the internet, as I lead these precious ones to pray, make sure you pray. I believe an email or um, something will be projected from, you from the screen and then you would see a link or an information to just let the church know that you made Jesus Lord of your life and then to connect you to the prayer platform for your spiritual nourishment. Hallelujah. All of you who have come, I salute you for making this most noble decision. This is the noblest decision that any man can make on this side of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. No matter how bad things are, it doesn't matter what yesterday was, he's able to give you a new beginning. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender to Jesus. Go ahead, high above your head. Please say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus my savior, my Lord, and my king. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I'm a child of God I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for this harvest we receive them and we declare in the name of Jesus based on the authority of Scripture we declare your sins forgiven we call you bona fide recipients of the life of God from tonight we declare that you walk in righteousness even in the abundance of grace 
I commend you to the word and to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. And I decree and declare that you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Amen. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise a We raise Are you celebrating Jesus? For He is God and 